Hey guys and welcome to Womble and Sonara plays Raccoon. I'm with the lovely Sonara. Say hi, Sonara. Hi, Sonora. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's like the oldest, the oldest thing in the book that you could have done there. That was, that was horrific. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like, um, th this is a story about, um, about a, a, a child in a hospital, right? And then he kind of like finds all the patients in the hospital. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. I've watched a little bit of this, someone else doing a Let's Play, and I was like, oh no, I really want to play this. And then I was like, oh, I, I really want to like read it, but I'm not a very good voice actor, as you'll find out. That's not quite true. So, um, I, I, I've got Sonara, there we go. So it's all on you now, all the pressure's on you. <laughs> <laughs> shall, we, uh, shall we just start? <laughs> yeah, let's start. Yeah, let's start. It's getting too awkward. Yeah, it's all good stuff. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, you're definitely that character. Okay. Hey. How... how'd you get in here? Your door's unlocked, man. No. Oh. Who... who are you? I'm Yami. I live across the hall. Did... did you just move in or something? No. I think I got here around the same time as you. But they never let me out of my room. Oh. I'm sorry. Eh, it's okay. I sneak out at night when the nurses aren't watching. Not creepy at all. <laughs> <laughs> promise you won't tell anyone I'm here, okay? I promise. So, how long are you in here for? I don't know. Mum says it could be a while. Same here. It gets really boring sometimes. I know what you mean. Someone's coming. Sorry, man. I gotta go. Hey, wait! Yeah? Maybe... I could visit you sometime. It's not as boring when there's two. You won't be able to get into my room. I'm not even supposed to leave, remember? Oh yeah. But don't worry, I'll come visit you again. I promised. Bye, Yami. Yami? Where... where'd you go? Okay. So, the first moment he came in, I thought this was like a representation of death, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did as well, especially with this ominous music that we've got going on here. Um, uh-huh. Oh. May may maybe we should go and answer the phone. Hello? Hello, dear, it's Mom. Mom! Just wanted to let you know that my train was delayed, so I'm going to be a bit late. Oh. Okay. I'm so sorry, dear. I'm going as fast as I can. It's okay, Mom. I understand. But I'm off work this week, and I dropped off your little brother at Grandma's. So we'll be able to spend lots of time together. We can play games. I'll read to you. It'll be like your own little party. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. So, I want to know why he had red lights when it's dark. 
Maybe night lights? Maybe. So you want to do the doctor? Nah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, well, I see you're wide awake and walking around. No one told me I couldn't walk around. Huh. That was a little sarcastic. <laughs> okay, wise guy, I've got a couple things to tell you. First of all, some good news. Your tests have come back, and it turns out things are looking pretty good. Oh no. This is going to be one of those sad games, isn't it? God damn it. In fact, I think it might be okay for you to walk around the halls a bit today. You mean... I get to leave my room? Indeed. Yes! <laughs> Not so fast. There's something else I need to talk to you about. This morning, the cafeteria reported that a lot of food and drink was stolen from the kitchen. Since the wing was all locked up last night, we believe the thief might still be in the building somewhere. So, can you take a moment to just check and see if any of your belongings were stolen? Okay. Um, it was him. Okay, so I'm guessing these things are his belongings down here, right? Oh, he has a spare hat. That's kind of adorable. An origami hat. Treatment guide. So, what do you what do you think he's got? Why do you think he's in the hospital? Because I I generally don't have a clue. So. I bet it's cancer. Yeah, it'll be something. I mean, he's wearing a hat, right? His head must be bald. Oh! Oh yeah! Maybe. It's either that or the hat's there to protect him from the aliens. I mean, who knows? Wouldn't it be made from tinfoil then? Maybe he doesn't have tin... Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> Patient 237. Oh my... What? <laughs> um... Um... Yep, he had a lot of things. <laughs> oh no. It's gone. Doctor, they took it. They took Raccoon. Or Raccoon? Is it, is it... How do you actually pronounce that? I should probably... Pr probably should have looked that up first, right? <laughs> uh, I don't speak Japanese. I guess it's Japanese. What did they take? Raccoon! It's my favorite book in the whole world! Oh, my mum reads it to me every night. It's very special. Are you completely sure you didn't just misplace it? I'm sure! After mum finished reading, she always put it sit back in the same place. It's our tradition. Okay, calm down. What did your book look like? Mm, it has a brown cover. It looks very old. And there's a clasp made of silver with a hole for the key. Silver clasp, eh? I guess that explains why they take a children's storybook. Well, I'm really sorry about this. I can only imagine how important it must have been to you. I want you to know that we'll be doing all we can to track down the thief. Oh my god, we're the detectives! Mom's gonna be so mad! Uh, you dots, am I? <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> You know what? Sorry, I'm drinking water. What? This is creepy. I'm just about to drink water as well. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're allowed to leave your room today, why don't you do, why don't you go talk to some of the other folks around the floor? 
Who knows, maybe someone will be able to help you get your book back. Because the thief is among the people on the station. <laughs> Take care now. I'll be back to check on you in a bit. I might have skipped a little bit too early there, my bad. Okay, so um, I'm guessing this this way is the way to go out, but I'm, I'm kind of curious to see what's in the in this door over here. Monsters, it's the closet. Well, yeah, maybe. The door's locked anyway. There's a sign on the door. Read it. Yes. Storage area. You were right, it is a closet. <laughs> Storage area 5B. Patients not allowed beyond this point. I want to bet it's super important later on the story. I just realized I could get into other people's <laughs> beds. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is what we know. He's got an IV drip. Oh, an IV bag filled with something. Um, <laughs> he's, he's got an IV drip and he's also having a lot of medication. I think saline solution is to replace a blood plasma that you've lost. Is it? Didn't know that. Uh -huh. Um, carboplatin, whatever that is. Okay, let's let's just go find a book. <laughs> oh, that she came out of the toilet. What? I'm so. Can I? <laughs> You know, there was this Ed's World cartoon where there was a whole world under the toilet, but... Maybe, maybe it's... I don't... No, but I can do that. Fill the sink with water? Yeah, sure. I, I don't know why we're in the bathroom. I generally don't know why we're in the bathroom. I'm just gonna leave the sink like that. Maybe that's the door? Yeah, that was the door. Okay, that, that actually makes sense. That, that actually does make sense. I just saw the door and I was like... Oh, hey. It's just... It's going out the door. Let's go talk to the doctor. How's your detective work coming along? Find any good leads? I absolutely called it. We're going to be detectives. <laughs> it's like her story all over again. It's great. Um, go for it. You want to do... <laughs> what? Another doctor? Okay. How do I... Let me see. How can I make her different? <laughs> <laughs> just trying to come up do, with do, do, do you want me to take it? I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. <clears throat> okay. I heard you had a pretty tough day today. You hang in there, all right? You're doing great. There we go. Wasn't that difficult. I kind of want to talk to the orderly back there, but I've also noticed that all the doctors are winning. That's actually kind of. Oh no, there isn't. There's one over there. Never mind. Can... It's the way I can sprint. So I feel like I'm going very slow. Do you know what I should have done? I should have read the instructions at the beginning. Where did I put the key? I must have dropped it somewhere. He's got a key to a closet. Can we have some candy? But that means if he dropped it somewhere, we can find it. Yes. Yes, that, that, that is the logic in these games. We can just... <laughs> find his keepers rule, right? Then again, he was thinking it, wasn't it? Can we read his thoughts? <laughs> Maybe, may, maybe that's what the hat's for, yeah. Maybe that's to stop us reading other people's thoughts. Um, a semi-functional vending machine. What would you like to buy? I don't think we've got any... I don't think we've got any money yet, so maybe not buy anything. <laughs> I just walk into... <laughs> Can we open the lockers? Yes. The door is rusted shut. Okay. Open the locker. You find a pair of scrubs hiding inside. Okay. Do you know what? Let's just go into this page. Um, okay, the door's locked anyway. I can't go in there, but I just wanted to read. I wanted to read the little plaque above the door to say whose room it was. But yeah. Kisubara's room, I guess. Is that Kisubara? Yeah, Kisubara. Let's go in here. I'm guessing this must be Kisubara. He likes his coffee. Oh, this is... I'm reading this. I haven't seen you in a long time. It's good to see you walking around again. <laughs> you need something? Yeah, sure, what's up? It seems these days it's getting harder and harder to find the words. 
Either that or people are just aren't listening. But you know, if it's my time to leave this world, then I'm ready to go. I just want to make sure I say the things I need to say before it's too late. You need something? Um, maybe he can tell us about the thief. I've been telling the nurses for a long time there's someone been sneaking around here after hours. Oh, it was, it's the kid, isn't it? Right, the, the one that walked into the room, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's him. It's kind, it's kind of, actually, that kind of was really obvious straight away, wasn't it? <laughs> ah, shame on me. I heard they were stealing food from the cafeteria kitchen. Which means they obviously have some way of getting into parts of the hospital we patients don't have access to. What? Were they crawling through the vents? You'd have a pretty small to be pretty small to fit through there. But no one around here listens to me anyway. They all seem to think I've lost my mind. Who needs something? Um, yeah, sure. I'm not one for gossip. You need stars. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> but that's the most interesting part. God damn it. Um, let's see what he's got on his table. Great voice acting. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell if you were being sarcastic or you were just... <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. Uh, the stack of notes has been stapled together and attached to the inside of the folder. Let's have a look. Go for it. Uh, based on the results of Kisaburo's brain scan, we believe the metastasis to be the case for delirium. Cancer. cancer. Cancer ward. Yeah. It is my recommendation to begin administering antipsychotic medication. Please refer to the list of hallucinations and delusions. Interesting. A, th a thermometer. <laughs> Do you know, should we be going around different people's different people's rooms and reading their charts, their personal medical information. Should we be allowed to do that? <laughs> we shouldn't, but it's not like Isaburo will remember us once we've left the room, right? That's pro that's true. Patient 262 blood samples. Again, I don't I don't trust this hospital. One, they've got a boarded up door over here which appears... It's like super unrealistic. Blood samples wouldn't just be standing in the patient's room. Nag, nag, nag. I know, come on. If they were, I wouldn't go to this hospital. Uh, but um, it appears that there is a tunnel running through here that has been blocked off. That's how they're getting around. Okay, we've solved it. Ah, uh, did I skip something? Or did it just skip to the end? It might have just skipped to the end. Perhaps you could get through it if you had the right tools. Yeah, I think it just skipped to the end. Okay. The door is locked. Awesome. There's nothing else in here that looks like I could probably touch it, is there? The plant? The plant? Actually, yeah, probably the plant. Nope. Okay. Can't touch it. What about this? Notice board. Go for it. Attention all hospital staff. Instructions. Kisaburo is not allowed to have caffeinated liquids <laughs> before prep. <laughs> He's just sat there drinking a coffee. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Yes. Um, what? Oh my goodness, what is my computer doing? Stop it. Stop it. iTunes just popped up. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't mess up your recording. Nah, I'll be fine. It didn't pop up on the screen, so... It, it, it was my second monitor, so it should be good. Did you call me? Yeah. Apparently the toilet in Sue's room is broken now. Can you do anything about it? <laughs> I'm a nurse, not a plumber. I don't even know how to fix a toilet. Well, someone has to do it. A janitor? You know we're short-staffed. 
fine. I'll go see if I can dig up some supplies. I kind of want to see the toilet now. And <laughs> what she's done to it. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? I... Um... This is a girl's room, you know? But if you really gotta use the bathroom, come talk to me. <laughs> okay, I guess we go and talk to her. <laughs> Hi. So, you want to use our bathroom, eh? Well... I guess... Yeah, I get it. We all gotta go sometimes. But I can't let you just... I can't let just anyone use our bathroom. It's a girl's room, you know? Gosh, it looks like you really gotta go, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? See that jar next to me? <laughs> oh, no! No! Shush! I know why you're laughing! God damn it. I've got my- the thing is I've got my own toilet in my room, why- God damn it. Yep! That's my marble collection. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing some though. <laughs> She's literally missing some marbles. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that didn't go where I was worried that was gonna go. Uh, I, I read it. Oh. I was carrying a bunch of them around in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure some fell out. If you could find me just one, I'd let you use our bathroom whenever you want. Do you think you could do that for me? I'll try my best. Thank you. The last place I was playing was with Danielle in the cafeteria. So, you might want to check around there. Okay. I guess we're gonna go to the cafeteria at some point. We well, we needed to go to the cafeteria anyway, so that's fine. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, we can't talk to her. Okay, I've got a... <clears throat> hey, how are you doing today? My wife's been asleep for months now. But I still talk to her every day. And sometimes I read to her. How are you doing today? Uh, f uh, I don't need to reread that like five times every time it pops up, do I? <laughs> Did you hear about the thief? Have you noticed that some of the doors around here have electronic passcode devices? I've been told that those areas have been long closed off, even to the staff. But recently, I noticed that one of these devices had been turned on. Um, tell me about the folks here. Who would you like to learn about? Um, I guess Sue, the crazy lady that nearly made me pee in her... In her <laughs> marble <the> jar. jar. <laughs> yeah. On occasion, I've had to take Sue back to her room. She has a habit of walking around aimlessly on certain nights. Who, uh, um, who's... Have we met Tony? No, we met I uh, Don't think so. Okay. Tony then, tell, tell me about this guy that we've not met. I believe Tony hasn't talked with his family in a long time. It makes me sad to think that families can be torn apart just because people don't see eye to eye on something. And Cora, which we also haven't met. I heard that Cora and her friends have been working on a special project to boost morale around the hospital. Last I heard, they were calling themselves the Towel Cape Heroes. Awesome, I think that's everyone. I'd also like to hear about the doctor, but apparently we're not allowed to do that. We've also got some more blood samples. Patient 138 blood samples. We've got another thermometer, and we've got a chart. Let's have a read. Patient 138. So which, one's, which one do you think 138 is? Do you reckon it's the one that's asleep, or do you reckon it's Sue? It's probably Sue. Um, either one, I really can't say. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, it's the left one. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, yes. Brain injury, stage one coma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. So... We don't know why Susan hit. Wait, she doesn't have cancer, so maybe this is something like a brain problem award? Maybe. I don't know. Especially with one girl not having any marbles. Yes. Yes! <gasps> do, you know, do you know what just happened? I think it just solved the whole game like I did with her story. <laughs> and then I said, no, that can't be. That's too ridiculous. And then yeah, we and found then out it's not. Yeah, we found out that it was, yeah, that it, it was true. Whoa, so many different marbles. Yeah, I've been collecting for a long time. Okay, that was it. That was it. <laughs> Uh, I should, should really probably... give one of them a German accent at some point. Maybe. <laughs> the toilet in there is broken. Some medicine inside. I wasn't expecting it so soon. Oh, go for it. Sorry, so read it again. Um, but you just. Maybe you just go to the next uh, thing she says. If you have to go, you should probably find a different bathroom. <laughs> oh dear, that was amazing. Um, so we still need to find Tony and we still need to find Cora. I guess they're the patients as well. That uh, I guy? guess that's me, yeah. Hello, small child. What brings you to my blood draw station? Interested in learning about the circulatory system? Platelets? <laughs> Perpetual motion machines? <clears throat> what can I help you with? Sometimes I like to contemplate things like why are there only two eggs laying laying mammals in the world? Two wait, two egg laying mammals in the world. Platypi and Oh. Um I really don't know the other one. Kangaroos, let's go with that. <laughs> They're marsupials actually, they're not even mammals. <laughs> I'm sure many species could benefit from laying eggs, but so far only the pat platypus and the enchilada. I didn't know that. Echidna. Echidna. I meant I meant echidna. I went for echidna and I, I missed it. Missed it a mile away. Echidna families have hopped on the bandwagon. Why, if I could lay eggs, I would be laying eggs all the time! <laughs> uh, get away from me. Um, yeah, let's maybe not talk about, about laying eggs and mammals again. <laughs> Come here, I'll let you in on a little secret. Have you noticed anything strange about the hospital? Uh... Not really. A while back, I started noticing cryptic little messages written all over the place. And last night, I saw someone go into the closet south of Tony's room. But I was told that closet had been locked since before I started working here. I'm pretty sure there were not, there were not staff. What did they look like? I only saw them out of the corner of my eye and for but a second! So unfortunately, I could not say. What I can help you with... Oh, what the fuck? It's been a long day, okay? I can't read. <laughs> who would you... Oh, who would you like to... Yeah, who would you like to know about that is... Wait, there's more? There's more people. And we all have met. Uh, yeah, well, we've met Kisabura, so Kisabura. Yeah. I knew Kisabura back before his mind started going. We spoke often. It's sad to see someone's mental condition deteriorate like that. What do you mean? Well, for example, 
recently the staff found him outside digging in the mud again. He was on his hands and knees making piles of mud using spoons he got from the kitchen. Oh man. But hey, maybe he knows something we don't. Maybe he's looking for... Buried treasure! Um, should we go with Panky? Because we don't we don't know who that is yet. So let's just mm. go for it. The children love Chef Panky. Okay, so he's the chef. If he notices someone is having a bad dream, he'll give them ice cream. Oh, ice cream! Using the scientific secret of salt to lower the freezing point of ice in order to freeze the cream. Genius! Okay. <laughs> so Jackie is the resident nerd? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Danielle is the purple haired girl who hangs out in the cafeteria. She sews the most marvelous plushies for the patients here. Oh, there we go. That, I'm, I'm, <laughs> this voice is so difficult to keep up. <laughs> I'm so glad that's it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, but it's really cool how you keep them buried. Bop, 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 bop.